welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, welcome back. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Da -da 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 I've created a monster. <laughs> What's going on, Lenny? Como si yo, Lenny, de la salud. Gusto de verle. Como uh, está? How do you feel, my friend? Mejor, gracias a Dios. Oh. I feel better. Okay, Thanks. that's good. That's good. Did you get some rest? Drink some medicine? Yes. All right. That's the important thing, my brother. Recovery. God bless you. All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. How are you today? How do you feel? I feel good. Da -na 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 -na. It's Monday. <laughs> it's Monday. Hello, Richard Martinez. Hello, Amilcar Perez. Hello, Nestor Martinez. Hello, Hello Kelvin. Hello, Irania. Hello, Lenin. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Welcome back. Welcome back. Back in action like Jesse Jackson, ready for action. Uh, everybody is finished with section one, yes? Yes. Everybody's finished, section one? Section one finished? Yes. Yes. yes? Okay. Excellent. I would like for us yeah. to go ahead and jump in and let's get started because yeah. we have a long session today. We have a lot of work to do and we need to go ahead and move forward. We're going to be looking at Inglés Intermedio Modulo Uno. And uh, we are moving on to section number two. Today we start section number two, Caught in the Rush, lesson two, objective. We're going to be looking at the objective right now. How was your weekend? What did you do this weekend? Relaxed weekend? Okay. Now I would like for us to look at learn how to describe problems in English using countable and non-countable nouns. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to describe problems in a city using phrases like too many, too much, less, fewer, enough, and more. You'll also learn about common and non-countable nouns including water, oxygen, English, traffic, milk, soccer, sunshine, etc. And understand how to tell if a noun is countable or non-countable. An English oral comprehension audio exercise is included. Let's check it out. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to describe problems in a city. You'll do this by using count and non-count nouns. Let me give you a quick example of this. There's too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars. <laughs> You'll also listen to an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. First of all, nouns. What are nouns? Well, nouns are people, places, or things. Pretty much everything that you see around you is considered a noun. And what do we mean by count nouns? Well, count nouns are simply all of those things, people, places, or things that you can easily count. So for example, when we think about cars, subway lanes, buses, those are nouns that you can easily count. Let me give you an example of other nouns that we can easily count. For example, we can count things like a pen, computer, bottle, spoon, desk, a cup, a television, a chair, shoe, a finger, flower, camera, stick, balloon, book, table, etc. Another thing that I would like to mention about count nouns is that we can easily change these count nouns into plurals by simply adding an S. Now let me point out what non-count nouns are. And just like I mentioned previously, count nouns are all of those things that you can count. People, places, or things that are easy to count, such as cars, subway lanes, or buses, like we see on the example. Now, with non-count nouns, what that means is that we're going to look at 
nouns that are difficult to count. So for example, in our chart, we see things like traffic, things like pollution, public transportation, parking. Those are a little bit difficult to count. So let me give you more examples of some of the things that cannot be counted quite easily, and therefore we consider this non-count nouns. So if we think about things like water, wood, ice, air, oxygen, English, Spanish, these are subjects, traffic, furniture, milk, wine, sugar, rice, meat, flour, things like sports, soccer, all of these things are non-countable. They cannot be counted easily. Another thing that's important to mention about non-count nouns is that we don't add an S in order to ch change them to plural. They, they do not have a plural form. Next, what I would like to do is I would like to play an audio program for you so that you can listen to the perspective of some people about their city. And remember that the goal of this class is to learn how to express problems that exist within a city. For example, there is too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars. And we want to use count nouns and non-count nouns to express uh, those ideas. So we're going to listen to that and I will have you answer a couple of questions about that. The buses are old and slow and they cause too much pollution. In cities with less pollution, people are healthier. There are too many cars. All the cars, taxis, and buses are a danger to bicyclists. There is too much traffic. There should be fewer cars, but I think that the biggest problem is parking. There just isn't enough parking. The last thing that I would like for you to do now is to answer some questions about your city. And what I would like for you to do is to tell me whether there is a lot of traffic in your city. So I'm going to ask the question, is there a lot of traffic in your city? Are there many buses in your city? Are there enough police officers in your city? Is there too much pollution in your city? And as you're answering these questions that I just posted, I want you to identify the nouns that I'm using. So, All right. So now for this activity, what I would like for everybody to do is we're going to be looking at the questions. Now, for the questions, I would like for you guys to answer the questions in pairs. We are going to answer the questions in pairs, okay? Give me one moment. Give me just a second. Sus empresas me están pidiendo foto de los que están participando. Guys, eh, les animo a que no falten a sus clases porque sus empresas están pidiendo asistencia. Así que si no está en la clase y no aparece en la foto, quiere decir que no se presentó a la sesión y ese reporte de asistencia va a su empresa. Ahora me mandaron el comunicado. Así que le animo a que lo comunique a sus compañeros de trabajo y dígales, mire, Mr. Santos nos dijo que de ahora en adelante están tomando, esto no es algo que yo lo estoy haciendo porque yo quiero ver quién está aquí, quién no, sino que porque sus empresas están pidiendo reporte de los que se están presentando a las clases. Así que ojo con eso para que no vayan a quedar mal. Y para que vean que sí está en su clase, ¿verdad? Si le puede comunicar ahí a sus compañeritos, mandarles un WhatsApp, díganles, mire, están pasando asistencia, pónganse buzos para que no vaya a caer en falla. Ok. So, right now, eh, veo que ya se conectaron más. Voy a tener, tomar la foto nuevamente. Sonrisa. Smile, everybody. Say chicken.
Ahí está. Ok. All right. We're going to, um, we're going to practice this. Repeat, please. Is there a lot of traffic in your city? Are there enough police officers in your city? Are there many buses in your city? Is there, Are there many buses in the city? Is there too much pollution in your city? Okay. Now, uh, what we're going to do is I would like for us to uh, practice answering and responding to the question. We're going to practice answering and responding to the questions. Let me have one volunteer, please. One volunteer, please. Nestor Martinez, thank you for volunteering. Okay, teacher. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Nestor, I want you to ask Mr. Santos the question. Ask Mr. Santos the question. Uh, a lot of questions. No, no, no. Uh, one, one of these questions. One of these. One, two, three, four. Una de okay. Estas. Is there a lot of... Oh, sorry. Pensé que lo estaba viendo en su pantalla. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Um, is there too much pollution in your city? Uh, honestly, I left the city uh, recently. I, I was living in San Salvador, El Salvador. And uh, recently I left the city and now I am living in uh, Santa Elena, Usulutan. Uh, I left the city for many reasons. Uh, reason number one is COVID-19 because San Salvador is overpopulated. Too many people live in San Salvador. And number two, uh, my son lives here, and also I love the the, the country life. It's safer. Uh, there's more nature. Uh, I, every morning I can see the cows walking in the streets, the buffalo, the the bulls, the chickens, roosters. Uh, in the morning, don't exist buses. Bang, 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 like in the city, only. Right, so you have a rooster. Uh, I buy cheese, fresh cheese, uh, milked from the sheep in the morning. And uh, I think that the city is not for me. It's a lot of pollution, it's dirty, a lot of traffic, uh, air contamination a lot of people, a lot of noise, uh, nah, a lot of stress. I, I prefer my life in the country. Beautiful country, yeah. Okay, I'm going to give you guys uh, a couple of minutes and I would like for you to, okay, creo que ya llegamos todos. Los que estamos somos, verdad? Okay, we're going to practice in pairs. We're going to practice in pairs. Let's go. Practice asking and answering the questions. Five minutes, five minutes.
Hola, señoritas. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Por qué se salieron? Hola, Ana Yesenia. Hola, Clara. ¿Por qué se salieron del, de la sesión? Eh, no, Ana es que a mí la señal es la que me está fallando. Ah, sí. Por eso no puedo entrar. Sí, 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 yo veo. Ana Yesenia, ¿por qué se salió de la sesión? Ana Yesenia, ¿por qué se salió de la sesión? Ana Yesenia, ¿me escucha? ¿Estás allí? Ana Yesenia, ¿me escucha? Yo creo que no me escucha. ¿Usted me escucha, Clara? Sí. Ah, ok. Bueno, eh, practique con Ana y Esenia, ya que están aquí. Pueden practicar juntas. Aunque yo... Pero... Creo... Sí, la verdad yo no he entendido ahorita porque me ha costado un montón con el internet. Entonces, no he entendido mucho la clase. O sea, sobre lo que han estado hablando. Ah, ok. Básicamente lo que hemos estado haciendo es eh, practicando. Van a practicar estas preguntas. Is there a lot of traffic in your city? Are there enough police officers in your city? Are there many buses in your city? Is there too much pollution in your city? Básicamente van a conversar. Es como fluency. Okay, voy a ver si la puedo ubicar. Usted es clara. La voy a ubicar en el 3. En el 3. No, en el 1. En el 1 la voy a ubicar. Ahí va. And now, um, because it's city, uh, I live in, no sé, es Cacerijo. No, 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 city. Okay. Uh, number four, is there too much pollution in your city? And now uh, there are pollution uh, because um, in a in a please there there um, less cars less bus uh, as Okay, we should finish. Finish, yeah. Finish. No. O sea, hay que estudiar este comapa. Sí, aquí vivo yo. En Tecomapa. Usted está en la cañada, ¿no? Cerca de la rica. A la par. Sí, me suena. Sí, al parcito de la fábrica estoy. A ver si aprendemos un poco. I hope so. Así espero. <risa> ¿Qué idea es esa? Es la idea. Ya tenía una base pequeña y ya se me está ampliando el asunto. Sí, yo
All right, let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers, please. Dos voluntarios, por favor. Okay, Lenny. Lenny. One more volunteer. Lenny Amilcar Perez. Lenny and Amilcar Perez. Quítale el silencio al micrófono Amilcar y Lenny. Okay, Lenny, please ask Amilcar the question. Amilcar, please respond to the question. Okay. Uh, Amilcar, is there a lot of traffic in your city? Uh, no, there isn't because I don't live in the town. I live um, in uh, a little village. Something like that. Okay. Um, second, are there many buses in your city? Uh, in the city, there are, but but here there isn't. Okay. Um, are there enough police officers in your city? Uh, yes, there are many police officers in Metapol. Okay. Is there too much pollution in your city? Um, I don't know, I think there isn't. Okay. We made it. Mm -hmm. Okay, now vice versa, please. Okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna ask um, the questions? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, is there too much pollution in your city? Uh, no, I don't live in the city. I live in the Comapla. In where I live is no too much pollution here. Okay. Um, is there a lot of traffic in your city? Um, the city, uh, there's traffic. There's a lot of traffic because the town is small and there are too many cars. Okay. Uh, are there enough police officers in your city? Yes, there are enough police officers in my city. Okay, the last one. Are there many buses in your city? I think the, yes, there are many buses in our city. Okay, very good. Now I would like Amilcar select somebody and Lenny select somebody, please. Um, okay, I, I choose Delia. Okay, Delia. And and I choose Veronica. All right, Veronica. Delia, ask the question. Veronica, respond, please. Is there a lot of traffic in your country? Yes, there are. There is a lot of traffic here. But in this moment, no. But in another moment, yes. Are there many buses in your city? Yes, uh, there are enough buses. Are there enough police officers in your city? Um, no, there there aren't enough enough <laughs> officer police. I there because we more. need more. <laughs> I there too much uh, pollution in your city. Are there or is there? Are there. Are there or is there? Is there. That's right. Is there. Is there. Is there too much pollution in your city? Yes. There is. 
there is a lot, of, no, there is mm, too much pollution. Okay, very good. Now, vice versa. Veronica, ask the question, please. Okay. Is there a lot of traffic in your city? Yes. Yes, there is. Because I uh, live in San Salvador. Is um, is there more traffic? Okay. Are there enough police officers in your city? Yes, there are because uh, the city is um, is the the big the city. This is um, too much uh, police officer. Okay. Is there too much pollution in your city? Uh, only no for the quarantena. <laughs> in normally, is there is some pollution for the because uh, uh, for the buses, uh, the traffic. Only, only no. Is there another quarantena? Excuse me. Hay otra cuarentena. Cuarentena voluntaria. Oh. <laughs> Voluntary okay. cuarentena. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I was like, what? Huh? <laughs> Voluntary teacher. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, very good. Okay. Applause okay. for the girl. No, 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 that's it. Applause for the ladies. Good job, everybody. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to listen to the last part. Oh, tell me whether the nouns that I'm using, whether they're count or not count. So, for example, traffic is the first one. Is that count or not count? Uh, police officers, is that count or not count? Uh, buses, is that count or not count? And pollution, is that count or not count? Okay, so what you are going to do in this activity is you're going to come here, you're going to say add a post where it says title, you're going to put your name, in my case, Ruben Santos. And you're going to say, for example, number one. And you're going to write, you're going to write traffic. Is traffic countable or non countable? Traffic is countable non or non countable? Non countable. Non countable. Non -countable. Non -countable. Number two. Are there enough police officers? Police officers. Police officers. Is countable or non countable? Countable. 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 Very good. Number three. Uh, number three is buses. Buses. Is countable or non countable? Countable. Yes, is countable. Is countable. All right. And the last one. Lo que yo estoy haciendo, todos lo tienen que hacer en su plataforma, en su propia función. Porque si no, se les va a contar como que si no lo hizo. Eh, pollution. Pollution is countable or non-countable? Pollution. Countable or non-countable? No. No, countable. Non countable. So you're going to say pollution. Pollution is non countable. Okay, si ya lo hizo, very good. Si no, esa es su tarea. Y aquí le va a poner submit. Así como lo he hecho yo, así lo van a hacer ustedes. Ni más ni menos. Let's continue. Knowledge check. 
which of the following options is not a countable, non-countable noun? So in this activity, you're going to identify if the vocabulary is countable or non-countable. Knowledge check 2.2. You will have three minutes, three minutes, and I want you to do the activity in pairs. Tiene tres minutos y lo van a hacer en parejas. Ready, let's go. Eh, Kevin va a trabajar solo. Teacher, lo que pasa Hi. es que ahorita estoy, no, no tengo imagen. Oh, ok. Lo vamos a poner con... Le, con eh, Irania, lo vamos a poner... Ah, ok, ahí se puede quedar, ya está. Eh, sí, sí, en el 5 lo voy a poner con Enrique y Verónica. Fíjense que tengo un problema que se me va al internet, no sé dónde el problema es la mío o de ahí. Ok, bueno, ah, pues si puede ingresar, ingrese, si no puede trabajar solo. Ya hice esa, esa parte. Ah, ok, ah, pues si ya la hizo, tranquilo. Yo no la había hecho porque no la había entendido como era. Incluso yo le pregunté por WhatsApp y todavía no le logré entender. Pero ahora sí. Ahora sí hay que hacerla porque explicó él cómo es. Ajá. Ah, pues estamos bien aquí con la respuesta, perdón. Ajá. Uh -huh. El mido de San no lo he hecho. Perdón. El examen, mido de San. No. Todavía no he llegado y usted ya lo hizo. Ya Ahora lo hizo. Ah, ¿sí? Sí. No, todavía no he llegado ahí. Está bien adelantada. No, como... Ah, bueno, después de la lección 3 es... Después de la 3. No, Ajá. y apenas terminé la 2. Apenas terminado la 2. Pero la lección... Es que... La lección 3 es poquito, es más larga la 2, creo. Ah, sí. Oh. Uh -huh. okay. Pero usted ha estudiado inglés, ¿verdad? Más antes. Por obligación. Ah, sí, no, por obligación. <risa> sí, porque antes, le, haya, sí. le haya bastante, veo yo. 
No, pero la pronunciación mía es mala. Pues fíjese que yo, la verdad, entiendo más escrito que hablarlo. Ajá, a mí también me pasa así. ¿Verdad? Y así no, funciona, así no funciona mucho. Pues sí, como que fuera mudo uno. Ajá. Solo está escribiendo, ¿verdad? Ajá. Pero aquí vamos a aprender. Sí, seguro. Hola. Hola. No sé si ya respondieron las, las interrogantes que estaban ahí en las preguntas. Ya, ya las hicimos. ¿Ya las hizo? Sí, yo ya las tengo. Solo que no sé si, si las podemos comparar. Sí, se, si quiere le pregunto yo. Ok. Ok. The first is which of the following option is not a come noun? Sería parking. Parking. Parking, correcto. Number two, what are some examples of non account nouns? Sería water, wool, y aire. Bien. And number three, what are some examples of account nouns? Sería desk, camera, book. Okay. Number four, why do the buses cause too much pollution? First, answer the first. First, the buses cause too much pollution because they are old. Okay. Why is there too much traffic? The second, because there are too many cars. Está bien. Estamos igual. Disculpe, ¿usted tiene imagen en la pantalla? No, yo no. Nomás los tres. Okay. No, 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 pero es que, no, que yo no tengo imagen de nada, no que solamente una nota de cuando el cuadro de diálogo es el, eh, el sistema parezca aquí. Y lo único que tengo es que tengo nada más. Estoy en blanco ahorita prácticamente. No tiene, no la, plata nada. No tiene la plataforma. ¿Cómo no? Pero mira, ¿qué problema tengo que me está sacando cada rato? Me saca. Ah, sí, no. Sí, pero yo sí la tengo, la plataforma. Ah, pa. ah ok. Vaya, a ver cómo... Sí, en el, en, el caso de, en el caso de Kevin, eso pasa, Kevin, cuando su Inter está lento. Eh, porque oh, nosotros, yeah. nosotros estamos trabajando bien, eh, la plataforma no se nos cae, eh, oh. la clase va en progreso súper bien, los alumnos me escuchan a mí, yo lo escucho a ellos. So, en este caso sería que usted tal vez, eh, tal vez está muy lejos de su router, eh, puede hacer eso que... sí eso sí eso sí hay, hay varios factores es el, es el hay varios problema. factores que pueden interferir con su señal eh, puede ser uno que está muy lejos del router número uno sí. que hay paredes es que eso, es, eso es un poco el problema número dos podría ser que hay una plasma inter, eh, una smart tv entre usted y el router y esa plasma le está bloqueando o le está cortando su señal. Eh, número tres, tal vez hay muchos aparatos, muchos celulares conectados a la red. Puede ser un, un número de factores, pero en el lado de nosotros estamos trabajando bien. No se nos cae la clase, no se nos cae la señal, no se nos cae la plataforma. Ahí sí le recomendamos que haga un... un eh, análisis de cómo está conectado usted. Sí, ya voy a ver cómo corrijo eso. Muchas gracias. Sí, correcto. Ok, we're going to check. Is everybody finished? Yeah. Ok, vamos a salirnos 
de los grupos. Ya le va a Teacher, I don't listen. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I don't hear you, teacher. Yeah, I had my microphone in mute. Number one, which of the following options is not a countable noun? Not a countable noun. The parking. parking. Very good. Parking. Car parking. Uh, number two. What are some examples of noun countable nouns? Lenin. Water, wood, air. Very good. Number three. What are some examples of noun countable nouns? Nestor Martinez. Uh, desk, camera, and book. Excellent. Uh, number four, Enrique Ortega. Why do the buses cause too much pollution? The buses cause too much pollution because they are old. Excellent. And number five, please, Kelvin. Why is there too much traffic? Delia, para terraza, why is there too much traffic? Because there are too many cars. There are too many cars. Let's check. Good job, good job. Applause for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent work. At this moment, do you have any questions uh, referring to this activity? Do you have any questions? <laughs> Somebody? Questions? No? Now uh, we're going. See, teacher. Yes. I, I, have, I have a question. Yes. Um, en anterior, en la que está, yo por eso no le he hecho, porque no mm -hmm. comprendo todavía. En la vale. que acaba de explicar. Esta. Eh, after video. This one? No, esta, el anterior. After video. This one. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ya, yeah, básicamente lo que va a hacer es escribir, por ejemplo, número uno. Traffic is non-countable. Uh, officers is countable. Buses is countable. Pollution is non countable. Básicamente eso va a escribir. Okay, now we're going to look at more expressions. Listen, please. Hi everyone, by the end of this class you'll be able to express problems that exist in a city. For example, there are too many cars in my city. There's too much pollution in my city. We need more public transportation. We need more police officers. You'll also learn how to use adverbs of quantity. For example, too many, too much, fewer, more. In our previous class, we learned about count and non-count nouns. And that is what's gonna help us to understand when we're gonna use too many. For example, in this case, we have cars. Uh, we are gonna use too many and when we're going to use too much. For example, in this case, we have a non count now, and therefore we're going to use too much. So let's now try to make sense of this by looking at this chart.
let me talk a little bit about making sense of this statement here there are too many cars and I'm also going to talk about making sense of this next statement there aren't enough buses let me present this structure now in order for us to make sense of there are too many cars we need to understand the following rule uh, and that is that we're gonna have there and by the way this can be the subject of the sentence it doesn't necessarily needs to be there like for example we can say we have too many cars and let me go ahead as I am talking about that I'm gonna go ahead and write the examples now so let me write the example that is there there are whenever you see the expression too many that means that there is a problem that we have too much of too many in this case there are too many cars okay um, and just so that we keep the pattern there I'm gonna go ahead and change the colors um, there and that follows the verb to be and then we have too many and that's how we make that expression there are too many cars we can also say we have too many cars what I would like to do next is to make sense of that last statement that you see there there aren't enough buses and this is whenever we are missing something right we need more of something like for example we need more buses maybe we need more police officers we're gonna use the expression there aren't enough and then that's gonna follow a count now so we use there plus aren't and then this is gonna follow the expression enough And what else can we say? Well, we can say there aren't enough police officers. What's another problem in your city? Well, maybe there aren't enough parks. What I would like to do now is to talk about how to give opinions about what is needed in a city and so I want to make sense of the example there should be fewer cards that's an opinion about what I think we need in my city so in order for us to form that idea we need a subject then we need should after that we're gonna need the verb to be and this is followed by either fewer or more and then it's gonna be followed by a count now so let me give you an example of that right now for example we could say there should be fewer cars which is the example that we have here we have a subject this could be in the form of there as it can be in the form of another pronoun or another kind of subject uh, then it's gonna follow the model verb should and then this is, will be followed by a verb it can be the verb to be but it can be other verbs as well and then the um, adverb quantities such as fewer or more and then whatever count noun that exists there should be fewer cars we should have more police officers and these are opinions that we want to express about what is needed in a city and the other example that I haven't talked about we need more subway lanes that is kind of like a stronger opinion so it's no longer a suggestion if you will um, but it's, it's something similar and so um, it's quite similar we're gonna say we the only difference is that we don't include a model bird, right we need more and in this case subway lines what I would like to do next is explain how to describe problems that take place in a city but now I'm gonna do it with non count nouns and so what I would like for you to notice is the difference right we, we discuss how to express problems with count nouns for example we said there are too many cars and what I want you to notice is that with non-count nouns we're gonna use different words so for example instead of too many we will use too much instead of fewer we will use less um, we can use more for count nouns 
as well as for non-count nouns. So as you can see the example there, we need more subway lanes, that's a countable. We need more public transportation, that's a non-countable. Um, and enough is the same way. There aren't enough buses, there isn't enough parking. Um, the only thing that will change in this last example is that we're always going to treat non-countable nouns as singular, even though we might be talking about uh, more things. So let me try to present some structure there so that we can try to make sense of the examples here. So for example, we can say there is too much traffic and what I would like to do is make sure that I'm using the appropriate colors that I chose and there's our example we have a subject that is followed by the verb and then this is followed by either too much or enough and then we have a non count now so the example there is too much traffic let me give another quick example there is too much, I'm going to say pollution, um, and what I would like to do is give an example there. Um, there isn't enough parking. And the last thing related to this topic is how to express opinions that you have about what should be included in a city. And the only difference now is that we're going to include some sort of model verb, okay? So we have our subject is there, then we include should, be, uh, and in this case we're going to use less and we're going to say pollution. Um, I'm going to change these words now and instead of too much or not enough or, or enough, I will use there should be less or more. Okay, because what we want to do now is we want to express an opinion. So we're going to have a subject. Uh, the subject is there. It's going to be followed by the model verb should. And then this is going to be followed by some kind of verb. It doesn't have to be the verb to be. It can be something else. And then either less or more and whatever non-count that exists. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to practice the concepts that we learned. I want you to practice giving expressions about what problems are in your city. And I want you to use a combination of both count nouns and non-count nouns. And remember that if you are going to use count nouns, you're going to use expressions such as too many, fewer, or more. And if you're going to use non-count nouns, then you're going to use expressions such as too much, less, or more. And so here's a quick guide of what I would like for you to do. I want you to tell me about your city. So a quick example, this city should provide more. We have too many. There's too much. There isn't enough. There should be fewer. There should be less. And All right. Now for this activity, what I want you to do is we're going to be looking at examples here on the knowledge check, which is correct. There aren't too many police officers in my city. There aren't enough police officers in my city. And there aren't many two police officers in my city. What is correct? Um, Enrique Ortega, do I say which is correct? There aren't too many, there aren't enough, there aren't many. A, B, or C. That's right. There aren't enough police officers in my city. The next one is going to be Veronica, number two. There is too much traffic, so the government needs to build more highways, fewer highways, enough highways. What is your answer? A, more highways. Very good, more highways. Number three, Clara Galvez, which is correct? 
there are too much pollution in my city. There is too little pollution in my city. There is too much pollution in my city. There is too much pollution in my city. Correct. There is too much pollution in my city, Nestor Martinez. Number four, complete the statements. I can't sleep at night. There should be less noise, more noise, too much noise. I can't sleep at night. There should be less noise. Very good. And the last one, complete the following statement using the quantity expressions too many, fewer, more, and make sure not to use capital letters or periods. The government needs to build mm, highways, too many, fewer, or more. Amilcar Perez. More. More. Excellent. That is correct. Good job, guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you will continue working on the platform 2.6 and on. And we see you guys tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. God bless Bye. you. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye, teacher.